Hey, my mate. Um, okay, cool. So that's fine. Um, I think tell me a little bit more about the chip shots you were trying to uh, attempt, experiment with. Um, but otherwise happy. And then the putting drill, um, I will send you the video. Um, I'll finish the video. I'll send you the video. You're going to love it, I think. I hope. <laughs> okay, it's a tough one, but it's a good one, right? Um, and then also dial into getting used to the new putter anyway. So that's cool. Um, so just again, a little bit of swing, just staying on top of it. Obviously, Saturday was amazing. Um, but again, you know, that bogey train to finish. Um, and then obviously today, again, the irons, thin and left, definitely the miss. Okay, so it's still the, it's still that move there. Instead of really clearing, having that little bit more lead, having a slightly better chest position. Okay, not low to high, right? Okay, so we start with some wedges. Okay, if you can hit 20, that'd be great. Okay, because we must always stay um, on top of the neatness of the trigger and the takeaway. Okay, so no lunging, no losing the right knee, all that stuff, right? We've always got to stay on top of it. So if you can do 20, it'd be great. First 10, okay, feet one club head apart, chest nicely over, okay, and just really neat, really neat and tidy. So really staying centered, okay. Really staying balanced. Okay, actually balance is generally really good, but just a good idea, right? Okay, so 10 of those. And then 10 little knockdown ones. So you can go a little wider, move the ball position back, get that handle forward. Okay, sort of, I know you're going to start there and then slightly press it forward, that's fine. Now when you press it, make sure that the shoulders stay level. Okay, so that's what we're trying to do with the second set of wedges. We're trying to make sure we stay level. Okay, and then we're trying those little knockdown flighted ones. So we must take a divot, okay? We must stay on top of, even feel like you're slightly ahead of the ball, it's fine. Okay, so it's just not quite as wide as that. Okay, just somewhere there, ball position a little bit back. Okay, and really stay on top of them and knock them down. If you can do 10 of those, okay, that'd be great. If you can only do 10, then do five, feeling neat and tidy, and then five with a little knock down. Okay, really feeling on top of the golf ball. Okay, right, right. Then irons, sort of similar. Okay, but we're also going to start figuring out this exit point a little bit. Okay, I'm going to teach you something to, uh, this week. Okay, so irons, let's do rounds of six again. Those rounds of six are working nicely. Okay, so first two is going to be your little knockdown ones. Okay, so if you're hitting nine irons, whatever it is, two of them. Okay, so this will be now full back swing. Okay, but then knocking the oh, on knock down a sandwich. Yep. <laughs> okay, so two knockdown ones. So full stance, good ball position, full backswing. Okay, but then forward. Okay, and really knocking them down, right? Really flighting them down. Okay. Okay. Why did I put it there? So we're doing two of those. Okay, and then, aha, aha. Okay, you can use balls, you can use alignment sticks, you can use tees. Okay, let me use a ball. Okay, what I want you to figure out with your irons, okay, is I want you to learn just to hit a little fade. Okay, and what I'm trying to get you to do there, okay, is go a little bit less this way, because you can't really hit fades from there, you can hit pushes and you can hit it thin. And you can definitely hit hooks, okay, but we can't hit uh, fades from it. What I'm going to teach you from there is how to go left, get your body to outrace the club, but not even match the club. So by the time we hit it, the body's outrace the club. It's too open, face is a little bit late, and we hit this sort of squeezy little fade, okay, that kind of rolls along the face. So we're learning timing, we're learning body rotation instead of that way. And we're also learning face control. Okay, that we can that we can swing left and the ball's not gonna go left. Okay, that's a big part of the, the journey, right? So about two foot, just so it's not in the way. Okay. Put that ball or T or whatever it is on the target line. Okay. We're gonna aim just left of it. Okay. And then the idea here is can we learn to open the body up? Start the ball left and then get it to go back to the target. Okay? 
So if you need to start, so we're doing two of these, right? Okay, now, I'm not saying go out there and start hitting fading iron shot. I'm not going to. I'm just trying to teach you something about how the body works, okay, and whether you can actually get them back to fade back. Okay, so just a little bit left. Okay, obviously nice and neat. Okay, you can see that thing curving at the end. Of it. Not having good time with my mic today. Okay. So see if you can hit a few. Okay, I'd like to see a video of a fade if I can. <laughs> yeah, but let me know if they actually fade. Okay. You know what I think is gonna happen is a lot of them are gonna go pretty straight to where you're aiming just left the top. Okay, and then what I'm trying to teach you is that oh, okay, that's actually what the normal shot feels like. Because that fear of left is still gonna cause you to stall a bit. Okay, and obviously as soon as we stall, either gonna be thin or it's gonna go left. Okay, and then you got your two normal. Right, so we've got two knockdowns, two fades, okay, and then two normal shots. And you can just work through the bag that way. Okay, a couple of drivers, just normal. Okay, drivers, just alignment. And now driver, you can unwind low tie. Actually, you can even stall your body a little bit with the driver. Okay, it, it, it actually, to a certain extent, it does help deliver the club from. Okay, so driver, just keep as it is. All right, so that's your little bit of work. Okay, wedges of the warm up, and then your three, two little drills. Okay, like we normally do for the last few weeks, be working nicely. All right, and then I'll send you your putting drill uh, either late. No, I should be able to send it when I get home, so later today. Okay, thank you, my mate. Let me know if you need anything else. I'll talk to you later.